Hi, Tanya from Musical Minds. Today I'm going to read you the story, Dugong Magic, by Deborah Kelly and Lisa Stewart. We read part of this song in our music class today. It is quite a long book, so I've included it in your email, so you can have a little listen at a later stage. It has an environmental message, and it does talk about how these dugongs are becoming extinct in our wild. It is a primary aged book, but it is a beautiful story about a mama and a baby, so I wanted to include it today. Dugong Magic. In the warm waters of a shallow bay, a dugong calf is born. Can you see the mama and the baby? Nudged to the surface, she takes her first breath and her first drink and learns to move her broad tail. You can see they're going up, but they're going very slowly. Up, 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 up. Up and down, up and down. Her tail goes up and down, up and down. She follows her mother through underwater meadows, learning how to pull up seagrass and shake it clean, leaving blooms of glittering sand and shimmering pathways in her wake. See, they're eating over here, the seagrass. They're vegetarians. She plays, gliding and rolling gracefully while her mother tells her stories from long ago and legends of mermaids. See the mermaid? There's also three fish. One, two, three. The dugong seems very happy with herself. When danger circles, do -da, do -da, she hides, following her mother to safer depths. But sharks are not the only danger here. Far away, humans are building their homes. Their rubbish runs into the sea, making the water cloudy. Without sunlight, seagrass cannot grow. The calf grows hungry. They're very sad here. Boats rush and roar around the shallow bay. Dugongs flee, their broad tails bleating. Up and down, up and down. But not all of them are quick enough. And the calf is very afraid. Oh no, we're quite sad and afraid. The humans cast nets to catch food. But the calf's mother is caught along with the fish. Oh dear. The calf is alone, is all by herself. There are not many dugongs left in the world now, but what if humans freed the sea from nets? You can see the mama and the baby are together again. What if we cleared it of rubbish so that seagrass could flourish again? <gasps> the dugong family. What if we learn to move our boats slowly and carefully through the warm, shallow waters? Mama, baby, and back to our fish. Again, hey, there's three fish on this page. One, two, three. The dugong could grow up to have a calf of her own. Nudged to the surface, he might take his first breath, his first drink, and learn to move his broad tail slowly. Up and down, up and down, up and down. He could follow his mother through the underwater meadows, gliding and rolling gracefully. Ooh. And stories from long ago, legends of mermaids and dugong magic might live on forever. You can see them in the stars. This is a book about dugongs. There's also some dugong facts too. Let me tell you a few. Dugongs are large, grey-brown marine animals. 
they have flat and fluke tails like a whale. And a lot of the time, they are called the cows of the sea or the lady of the sea because they eat grass, lots of seagrass. They're vegetarians, you see. They are known in our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture. For thousands of years, dugongs have become an important source in these cultures and they feature in their stories, songs and artworks. You can read more about our dugong in this book, Dugong Magic, by Deborah Kelly and illustrated by Lisa Stewart. Thanks for joining me on this beautiful tale of looking after the bond between a mother and its baby. Have a wonderful week. Bye.